Okay, today we're going to look at this defense oil filter, number DL3593A. And a viewer sent this in to me, named Dennis Went. Thanks, Dennis. And you can get these at carid.com for $1.72. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a blue bit of silicone, the nice pipe. You got your inner here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the box. Professional quality. Turn it over here. Manufactured for Fram Group Operations. Made in USA. I also caught this on the box. Check current catalogs for latest and complete applications for this product. Recommended change interval for your oil and oil filter is 3,000 miles, 5,000 kilometers. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Date code 0525172730 OL3593A. This is a sticker. These are some instructions. And also right here it says made in USA. She has 12 inlet holes, looks like a metal core with holes, bypass valve down below, and a nitro rubber o-ring gasket, which comes off pretty easy. Sticks up a little bit though, you can see. Yeah, it seems like it'd make a good seal. Say we open this baby up and see what's inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Let's get her weight. 217 grams. Let's check out the base plate. And it weighs 119 grams. And let's take a look at it. So you got your 12 holes. We you saw the O-ring gasket. Got a fair amount of threads, nice. Yeah, this all looks nice. Okay. Now this anti-drain back valve, I don't know, they claim it's a silicone. If you look on the website, and it might be. It kind of is pretty springy, but this is a little bit of the paper that came off of. Well, I'll show you in a second. But, um, yeah, this this could be uh, silicone because it, it definitely feels springy. Let's see how it covers up the holes. And it covers that up all nice. Okay, and you got your filter element here, which I counted 40 pleats. And they're spaced quite a bit. A good space here, good space here. This is a glued seam right here. And it's glued together pretty good. Yeah, the pleats they could they could have put a little more pleats in here, put a few more in. And you got your cardboard end caps. Not a fan of these guys. You can see your metal core. What's this way? 34 grams. Okay, inside we got stamp leaf spring bypass valve. Which is a fairly size, it's a good size one, so it's, you know, this, this one looks pretty good. Check out the weight on this. 11 grams. And the can. The can feels pretty good. Check out the weight. 47 grams. Let's get some measurements. I was getting like 0.48. 
Yeah, 0.49 millimeters. That's about average, 0.48. You know, check out the width here. One point nine five inches. Two point six let me get that tight. Two point six two inches. 2.13 inches. Yeah, there's quite a bit of space here in between these pleats. Should have put a little more filter media in here, I think. And the micron rating, you know, what I found on there was, uh, it said 95%, but it didn't give a micron rating, you know, so I'm guessing the, uh, the entry level frames are usually 95% at 20 microns, so this might might be what this is. Well, it's um, you know, the glue looks good. It's all glued up real nice. Let's open this baby up, stretch her out, and see how long she is. Okay, here she is stretched out. And she's 44 and a half inches long. Okay, let's take a look at the seam. We got a nice glued seam here. It seems pretty good. Took a little sample here to measure. I was getting like about 0.85 millimeters. 0.88 millimeters. Yeah, it's, it's about average. 0.8 I think is about average. Here's up close. Let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, you got a fairly large bypass valve here, so this looks fine. This could be silicone. I don't know. It's it sure seems like it. It's very flexible. It's funny it'd be on this filter though. In this class of a filter, but it sure feels like it's silicone. Base plate's fine. Got a metal core. It's got a cool little crimped. Crimp seam here. I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera. Let's see. It's like bent, bent over. It's crimped over. See it? That's a pretty good, cool seam, anyways. Yeah, it's got a good amount of holes, I guess. You know, I don't care for cardboard end caps but that's it is I mean it's a dollar seventy filter so I don't expect too much so that's your defense filter you know I always heard that uh in football anyways a good defense will beat a good offense but I guess that don't apply for filters <laughs> what do you guys think about this filter please post your comments down below so I think I'll wrap this video up if you like this video please hit that like button Thanks for watching and take care.